The future is now, and the future is Greenville, and we want to be Greenville's team. That's our goal. We want to paint the town purple, and we want to celebrate weekends at the well. I think that we've got a great deal at Timmins Arena. We have a, we have a great atmosphere there. But at the same time, this, this gives, this gives a, a whole other realm. And um, if we can produce that energy, and that's the start, where can this go? There's going to be some people in here that have seen us play. And I want us to inspire anybody that comes in here that's never has seen us play. I want them to walk out of here and say, man, that's a connected group, right? That's a group that gives it everything they got and they play for each other. And I want us to inspire a community on Saturday. And so one of the big things about coming downtown is to expand the fan base, expand the brand of Furman University, Furman Basketball. Last time they played downtown through the mid-90s, from the early 1900s, they went to six NCAA tournaments, six SOCON titles. Coach Richie trying to get the power in his back with that fight. These programs, Dan, they don't rebuild. They kind of reload. And you have freshmen and sophomore red shirts stepping up to fill those spots. Defense leading the offense. Clark finds the trailing Bothwell Dan, and you caught it. Double team comes from Stump, who then loses him, and Bothwell puts Furman ahead 67 66. I think Jay McCauley says, play it out. Five to go. Murphy. Hoover, one second. It'll count if it goes. No good. This is home. This is downtown Greenville. This is Furman. Great environment in there. 6,000 people. Oh, the energy in this place. For Greenville, man, we got to protect our house. A huge program win. This is big for the city, big for Furman, big for everybody that's been in this program before us, and I'm glad we can represent. Let's go, let's go.